uh, I think life is trying to find out what you are good at. So you could do that better than anybody else. And I'm good at making a fool out of myself. <laughs> really what it boils down to. And I do it better. My parents did not even admit I was their kid for the first 10 years on TV. No. I like, like a complete knee can poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that true? Your parents didn't admit? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Well, because they wanted me to be some sophisticated person on the Today Show to be a hoity-poity or whatever like that. And I go, hey, did you know you had this for me? Did you remember that? <laughs> so, so what is that character, Matt? Well, where does that come from? Is that, oh, is that a character? Inside, that's me. That's yeah, you. That, that, yeah, that's part of me. It's just that I can't do that. We're trying to have a conversation. If you said I had five minutes alone on the air, <laughs> nobody else to have feedback with, then that's just output, not input. See, you and I with a conversation like this is, you know, I got to listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, tell me, tell me what your childhood was like. Child who was like short and fat. <laughs> I'm six foot and people see me and it's Dachau, hey. <laughs> but to me inside, that's what I still feel. Uh, I guess I always had some kind of personality. Was terrible at school, didn't like school. Um, flunked English in college. That's why, you know, when my first book made the New York Times bestseller list, I called that English teacher who flunked me. <laughs> that was a sweet day in my life. <laughs>